Hi ladies, welcome back to the Esther series. Uh, adjust your crown. I got a different type of crown today. I got a different type of crown today. You like, you like. <laughs> adjust your crown, okay? Let's just get right into it. Last week we talked about Queen Esther's secret. And a lot of times... God will use the very thing that you feel like that, that you're ashamed of, that you don't want people to know your upbringing. God will use that very thing for his glory. Esther didn't have parents. Esther was a Jew. Esther was being raised by her uncle Mordecai. And she really didn't want nobody, nor, nor did uh, Mordecai want anyone to know. So, some, but that very secret will push you into purpose. He, God will use the very thing to, to bless others and fulfill the purpose. Now, we're at the time when some of the, um, now we're at the time when some of the king's men, they learn about uh, who Mordecai was because um, some, some of the king's men didn't want, didn't feel like Mordecai respected them. He didn't want to bow to them. So they started doing um, research and they started looking into who Mordecai was. And Mordecai found out that they was trying to uh, kill off all the Jews. Now we in chapter 4. Okay. Mordecai needed to get a word to Esther. He had he wanted to tell Esther what was going on and um, what how her people were uh, in jeopardy, in danger of lo losing their lives. The plans were to destroy the Jews. And he wanted Esther to go before the king. Here you go. Here's, here, here's the story. Chapter 4. Queen Esther became fearful. She was afraid. Because uh, back in those times, you could not just go before the king. You had to be summons. If you went before the king, you you either were beheaded or you were hung. You Basically, you just was killed. You could not go. Even the queen could not go before the king unless she was summoned to do so. No one was permitted to go before the king without being summoned. Not even the queen. But how many of you believe in the midst of being afraid, you still have to adjust your crown? Don't let them see you sweat. Don't let them see you sweat. It's okay to be afraid inside. That one you know you need the power of God to rise up in you. You know when uh you know you when, when you finna do something big and when you finna do something that's out your comfort zone, man, your heart start beating so fast, you just get nervous, you start sweating, but you can't let them see you afraid. You can't let the people that God had called you to, the people that God had called you to bless, you can't let the people around you that's gonna see and witness your purpose to see you afraid. It's okay to be afraid. But depend on God. And so he can just uh, uplift and erase all the anxiety, all the nervousness, all the fear away. Even in the midst of uh, fear, we still have to adjust our crown. Because you will have to do things that will make you afraid. That's why we must trust God. You're going to have to do things that's going to cause you to be afraid. Uh, even me, when I started this um, this group, I was fearful. I was afraid. I was, it wasn't sure that people were going to chime in or listen or follow my life or follow what it is that I had to say. But I had to, I had to be uh, rest assured that what God had called me to, and I had to walk in that. I couldn't, even though I was afraid. A lot of people didn't know it. A lot of people hadn't seen it. But you got to walk in it. You get. You can't be so afraid that you just don't do it. You can't be afraid that you just quit. You can't be afraid that you just give up. So, yes. Even starting my Facebook group, starting my YouTube channel, starting my blog, all the things that I set out, set out to do, I, I be afraid. I be nervous. I be unsure of myself. Don't have, don't think, um, my confidence is not there, but I trust and depend on God. That's adjusting that crown, adjusting that crown. Queen Esther said quickly, she said, I tell you what, we're going to fast. We're going to fast for three days. And 
After them three days, I will go before the king. Sometimes you just got to have faith. I know, I know you. Uh, I know you're fearful. I know that fear no quick creeped in. But when I trust God, sometimes that faith just have to kick in. And she just took a stand. She said, "Okay, this is what I'm gonna do." Mordecai, you you fast. I fast. All my maid servants are fast. Everybody around us, we fast. How many of you know that fasting and prayer is the key and it will build up your inside man, that strong man that need to rise up and get things done? She said, fast for three days and then I will go before the king. Queen, seek God. That's what we do. Queen, seek God. Seek God for those things that make you afraid. Fast and pray. And at the end, it's on God. When you've done your part, when you did the work, when you fasted and prayed, when you put your best self forward, now it's on God. How awesome is that? I've done my part. I, I was afraid. I was fearful. But now I put my faith and trust in him. I've done the work. I fasted and I prayed. Now it's on God. Now, let him take hold. Let him take hold once you did all you can do. Fast and pray. It's on God. You've done your part. Then Queen Esther said these infamous words. If I perish, I perish. Listen, I'm going to go before the king. My faith is in God. This is what I'm going to do. But if I die, I die. And I'm going to die with a purpose. If I perish, I perish. That this is especially in this day and time. This is what the boldness that you got to have. Everything that God has called you to, everything that God has a uh, place that God is going to send you to, every obstacle, everything that you think too big, that dream, that goal, everything that you think that you just can't, just don't have the uh, will or the knowledge or the capacity to step out on. God got it. And if you perish, you perish. If I perish, I perish. That when her faith kick in. So that's when the faith going to kick in. Because now I'm trusting in God. Now I'm leaning and depending on him. Because now I know I can do anything but fail. Now I know I can do the impossible, the unthinkable, the unimaginable. Because now it's on God. It's not on me anymore. So if I perish, I perish. If I lead this world, I lead this world. But if I know that I have done all that I can do, eh, now it's on God. So now I'm not depending on people. I'm not depending on myself. I'm depending, I'm depending on the most high God. And God got me. God got me. God keep me. God covered me. He is covering me in the blood. So I can go in it before a king. I can go before a president. I can go before a government. I can go before a city council. I can go before my enemies. I can go before anybody that's trying to come up against me. I can go before that big goal, that big dream, that big desire. I can go before it. Because if I perish, I perish. Because I'm walking in purpose. And I'm depending on God. Adjust your crown, queens. Adjust your crown. Let go of fear. If that fear creeps in, you know that it's, it's inside and you're depending on God. So don't let that fear overtake you. Fast. Fast and pray and seek God for answers and for de deliverance. Fast and pray and seek God for capacity and power and his anointing. Fast and pray. And then walk out on faith. Walk out on faith and knowing that God got you. 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 I have been so blessed by the teaching of Esther. And it has given me so much more understanding. And knowing that we can, we can do anything. We can go anywhere, in any room, in any state, any country, and declare the, the uh, word of God. And, and let our, the power of God that's in us rest and change rooms. That's what you're supposed to do, queen. You step in a room and your, the atmosphere is supposed to change. You step, you step before the king. 
His whole demeanor should change. You have the power. Step in it. Walk out on faith. Don't let fear overcome you. Continue to fast. Continue to pray. Continue to seek God. And step out on faith. I love y'all. Bye.